How's it going everyone? CJ from On The Grow here and today I'm going to be telling you about an experiment that I actually started seven days ago. So I wanted to see how applying weight to the top of sunflowers during their germination process would actually affect germination and also in growth. And the results actually came out quite amazing. So stay tuned to see more. All right, so seven days ago, I started this experiment to see how weight would affect germination and end growth, and the results were pretty shocking to me. So let's quickly explain what the test parameters for this uh, test were. So I seeded three individual trays with 125 grams of black oil sunflower per tray, and I grew this on a medium called BioStraight. Uh, this was all bottom watered, and the only major difference in this test was the fact of how much weight was placed onto each tray. So starting off with the furthest one over here, all we had on top of this tray was a single empty tray. This would remain on top for three days and then flip for a blackout on the last uh, fourth day. For the second tray, all we had on it was the single tray, but with a three pound bag of uh, sand just to see how that would affect the growth. And again, it had the same thing. It had it for three days during germination and then flipped over with nothing on it for the uh, last day to kind of stretch them. And then for the last tray over here, we had the same thing, a tray, but this time we had the 15 pound brick or paver that is very commonly used uh, within this industry. And again, it was the same process. It was three days waited for the germination and then for the last day, we took off the brick and then we flipped it and it allowed them to stretch a little bit. So let me get this out of the way. Okay, so let's talk about uh, what worked. So as you can see, the growth here is actually quite uh, different between the three of these. So again, this is a single tray is all this one had for weight. This one had three pounds, and then this one had the 15. And I think that you can kind of see here, let's separate these just a little bit so you can kind of see the individual uh, differences between these. I think you can kind of tell from that angle how much fuller uh, this one with the 15 pound brick is looking compared to everything else. So we did notice that we had the best germination out of any tray uh, was on this 15 pound brick or paver tray. That was the, the best germination that we had. And also I would argue to say the best end growth and the most consistent. So starting over here with this one, uh, you can kind of see, I mean, the, the growth is kind of all over the place and that's what we noticed with this is that uh, the germination was quite slow in the beginning. Um, and I mean, it did catch up, but I can, I'm gonna bet that this is quite a bit behind on weight compared to the 15 pound. So now this one in between, you can actually see how the adding a little bit more weight from no weight to three pounds actually does make a huge difference. Uh, so again, it's kind of the same thing. We, we had better germination with this one, but again, it's still quite inconsistent. You can see because it had that inconsistent weight, there's a lot of uh, late bloomers in here, and uh, or late germination rather, and the, the growth is kind of scraggly. And again, onto this one, I mean the growth, we have a lot more consistent. It's very uh, rare that you see a lot smaller uh, germination, or I guess a lot shorter sprouts on this one because the germination was so even and um, consistent. So that's about it for a quick overview at first glance. Um, I mean, health-wise, everything looks really healthy. Uh, I would probably say that there's gonna be more likely of a chance of disease on the smaller one, but we're gonna find out once we actually get to harvesting and we're able to see these roots and the grow medium a lot better. So let's go ahead and move into that. I'm gonna go ahead and get these harvested. And then after that, we'll talk about uh, anything that I noticed during that process and we'll compare weights and any other last thoughts.
so I just finished harvesting all these trays and the weight difference is pretty huge. So starting over here uh, with the single tray only stacked, uh, it was 350 grams for the total weight. For our second tray, it was the three pounds on it and we had a total weight of 473 grams. And then for our last one, which had the 15 pound uh, brick paver on it, we had a total weight of 566 grams. So we can clearly see that adding weight does provide significantly better germination and in growth. Uh, as for the flavor, I've tasted, I've put, set aside some from each group and I've tasted them. The flavors are all very comparable, though I do prefer um, the 15 pound brick test groups flavor because it did have a less bitterness than the other two. I think it's because these were so stressed trying to germinate and it was very inconsistent um, that maybe that is what caused those to be slightly bitter versus this one did not really have that bitterness. Um, so honestly, the, I'm, I'm really happy with these results. This is something that uh, I was very curious about because we've been starting a lot of trays in our space. Um, with no weight on them for our sunflowers and we'd be getting very scraggly growth and I didn't know if it was the way we were soaking or what it was and what I'm realizing is is that we do need some weight on top of these because it does provide uh, exponentially better growth. I mean it's nearly double by adding 15 pounds to a tray we would nearly doubled our growth. Um, and this also kind of goes with our other test that we did where we added, so we had another test where we did 15 pounds and 30 pounds. And what we found is that when we added too much weight, we actually caused uh, more disease and mold at the roots and stuff. Then it actually did not provide any benefit as our weights were basically identical. So I think there is a certain point to where adding more weight is not beneficial and it instead becomes negative. So either way, I'm very happy with the results of this test. I'm really happy with how this came out. And uh, I know that, that we will be germinating using a 15 pound uh, paver from now on until we start playing around with more weights. Maybe, you know, seven pounds could be better than the three pounds or something like that because we did get fairly close in weight with the three pound. But anyways, that's all future tests. All right, so I really enjoyed doing this experiment. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. You know, this is always something we encourage for people to do their own experiments to see if they get the same results. You know, please don't take our word for it. This is just what we find in our space, which has a very certain climate and uh, atmosphere to it. So that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give us a thumbs down. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below and we'll get those answered as soon as we possibly can. Uh, if you would like to subscribe to us for more experiments like that, please do. We would really enjoy that. And if you would like to as well, our Instagram is at on the Grow farms. Thank you so much and have a great day.